So I've been working on 16 by 16 sprites lately, so I thought I would give an 8 by 8 sprite a try. So jumping in here, I did try a front view sprite first, and it really didn't look as good as I would have hoped. So I quickly figured out that the trick to this is probably to do something more of like a side view or even a three-fourths view. And since I didn't know at first what I wanted to draw, I got to thinking, like, why not draw one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters? And so we're going to draw Tara Branford today. Or Tina, if you prefer. As per usual, we'll be doing the speed draw style. So if you want to copy for the fun of it, just pause as you need to. Now I did use the NES palette for this. It comes by default with a sprite, but I'll link a version of this palette down below. Right, so we're going to start this with the body as the base. So we'll be using a skin tone for that. And then I want to put the hair on there and figure out about where my eyes want to be. I did have to stop and double check my reference because I couldn't remember what color her eyes were. Now getting complicated outfits down with this is pretty difficult. The best thing to do in this situation is to decide what the most important parts of their outfit is. So I decided the red from the bodysuit was probably the most prominent, followed by a little bit of the purple scarf on her waist. Now there's no way I'm going to get the fingerless gloves on her. So I just left her with her bare arms so it's more readable. Her stockings and boots are probably some of my most favorite parts, but unfortunately I have to leave those out. And I will be giving her a cape, which is technically not yellow, but I wanted to get some of that gold color in there. So since I finished these sprites pretty quickly, I decided it would be fun to add a little bit of an environment for them to exist in. And since I styled the sprites the way they are, I thought that maybe a 2D platformer environment would be good. So I transfer my sprites over to a new canvas, and then I start working on the ground tiles. There's not a ton to say about these tiles, but I will say that I'm trying my best to keep them as organic as I can. I don't want them too symmetrical. And because I'm working with a limited color palette, I'm trying not to add too much detail to them. Of course, this is a personal preference, so if you decide to try something like this, do what you want to do. And of course, I add some extra details like the mushrooms, and I'm going to put like a little bush in the background, stuff like that. But the bush will come later, because at this point I decided I needed to extend the tiles. I did find some difficulty in deciding certain colors in certain areas, and while I don't have to restrict myself because I'm capable of doing whatever I want with the current technology, it's traditional and fun to do that. So I'm trying my best to use as few colors as I can. So I've got this bush that I've done here. Um, I'm thinking it's probably something like a rose bush, but honestly it could be an apple bush like in Mario, you never know. I'm not super worried about the details here. Wait a second, are those actually berries? Boy, childhood me had no idea. It makes so much more sense. Anyway, so I turn off my grid because it's just easier to see that way, and then I start deciding if I want an outline when and where, and I decide that I'm going to leave the outline on the ground and use it to help my character stand out from the rest of the scene. And then we're going to throw in some quick clouds and a simple tree. I use the purple for the bark color because I don't really want to use any other like browns or anything for it. I kind of want it to look a little different. While I didn't want to have any texture in the dirt, I decided that maybe I should put some bones or something in there just to make it a little more interesting. The skull was a little annoying to figure out if I really wanted it in there or not. Maybe I shouldn't have left it in, but eh, whatever. This is just for fun. And that about sums this up. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon.